Hello, this is a demonstration of Calico, a sketching tool to support software design as it happens at the whiteboard. And today I'll be demonstrating um, sketching of a basic uh, the medical system using uh, Calico scraps to create the basic the architecture and also using the grid to help manage the design session. So before I begin, uh, we began brainstorming the basics of the medical system. Uh, we first considered the roles, the treatment plan. So as in the beginnings of a software design session, there's lots of lists, um, typically diagrams, and also um, maybe lists of constraints. Um, so now we're going to focus on just the architecture. And uh, to do that, we're going to use scraps to uh, make these uh, interactable components. So to do that, we double click uh, this area, which highlights and brings up the menu. And from the menu, we click scrap. So we're going to go ahead and do that for all of these. Now, uh, scrap takes on the shape of the container. So they're user-defined shapes. And these are actual objects, which can be moved around, copied, arrows can be created between them. And they make, um, they transform something that was just sketched to something that we can now work with. Um, so now I'm going to begin drafting the architecture. Um, I'm going to say that um, appointment has a relation with appointment system. Uh, let's clear the way and uh, focus on patient in this area. So let's move these out of the way and bring patient down here. Uh, we say that patient is a type of role and we say that a patient has a patient record and actually these guys right here, um, I think they're going to be components of patient. So let's move them beneath them. So let's position uh, these components right here and let's make this all part of one scrap to reflect that it's one unit. And now we say that this has a, an appointment. And so at this point, I want to add more units to this. So to give them more behavior, we're going to turn this scrap into um, a soft mode list. And to do that, we double click uh, this and click list from the soft mode. And so now a scrap has more type specific behavior. And so it behaves, um, has uh, automated behavior to act more like the thing it's representing. So let's say, let's add, let's say a patient has a user. Um, so let's drag user to the list. And this will now expand to encompass this. And we can also say that this no longer has a goal. So the elements reposition themselves. Um, so at this point, uh, we want to create a copy um, to diverge. So um, for example, we want to now explore uh, doctor instead of patient. So we can go ahead and create a copy right here. And then maybe we create another copy to explore um, another role of system admin. And so now I've created uh, one canvas dedicated to supporting um, looking at the patient. I can explore a doctor and another, explore system admin. So now I'm diverging my work and taking advantage of the space to organize my design session. Now, um, if we say that this is later on in the design session and I now have components from others, and I now want to converge my work, I can now use the viewport um, to look at multiple canvases at the same time. And to do that, I can enter the canvas and now zoom out incrementally, um, which allows me to see multiple canvases. And from here, I can copy elements from uh, this canvas right here, copy something from here, and also copy something from here. And so now I converge. Um, all the different elements and I can now focus on uh, working this out in this cell. Um, Calico is a distributed, going back to the cell, uh, Calico is a distributed application so this is a client connecting to a server. Um, it's difficult to see here but there is a name showing a user who's occupying that cell. So someone uh, from a remote location can log in and using Skype we can discuss and synchronously work together by occupying the same cell, or in a conversation call, I can work something out here while my uh, remote partner can work out another cell, and we can combine our stuff uh, at a later point. So this concludes the demonstration. Um, it allowed us to uh, explore the basic architecture, and the grid helps uh, manage the session.